Hey, Brian, how you doing? Thank you so much for your repost, including your sketches. This is really important stuff here. I, I think these sketches are fantastic. I've been looking at them for a while now, and every time I look at them, I'm seeing something new. And that's, <laughs> that's it's the perfect testimonial as to why we go through this really exhaustive um, sketch stage in a real studio setting. You know, you're you don't be surprised if somebody asks for if you have an AD that asks for 80, 100 sketches for um, a particular um, project. It's quite common. So um, I think these are wonderful. So let's take a look at what we have here. This is the traditional Haida. And you have the eyes and then the feathers. And I think I, I you had a logo based on that, the the raven beak. And I thought that was pretty cool. I think it's a really cool and good and and solid approach to um to to your visual representation based on what you've been researching. And that's important stuff because that is the link that holds the visual to the research. And 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 again. Very, very important stuff. Let's move on to the next um, set of sketches here. The hands. I, boy, the hands have such interesting shapes. And I think all of your sketches can be said, the same thing can be said about all your sketches. For some reason, I'm not seeing the kind of potential that I see up here in some of these, and especially uh, in, a, in, a, in the next couple of pages. Okay, so then we move to this mountains page. And I think this is a mistake, Brian. I, this kind of literal representation, I just think that, boy, if you can say mountains without saying mountains, that's just so, so important in, in design, any kind of design is visual representation without, you know, direct representation. Um, really, really super, super, super important stuff there. So, um, I would like to see you veer away from this kind of literal approach into a more of a figurative. And now we get here and we start to get same with the more of the same kind of figurative. Can we say a whale's tail, this kind of diving whale? Can we say that without drawing the diving whale? And I think that you're you're on to that right here. So so you're you're kind of you're getting it. You're getting it. But then we're back to this this hyper reality again. Okay, and, and 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 again, I think that well, here let's get that. Here's where I think is it's really the rubber hits the road in your fifth page. Um, specifically, I think this sketch right here with that that off centered circle, um, the Haida Moon Metal. I, I, well, you're saying is that a metal? I think that I think that's your logo right there. Um, without the mountains, of course, Sands Mountains. I think that's an interesting mark right there, and you can incorporate some 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 good. You've got so many layers here. You can really incorporate some color here and make this thing something. Uh, I think would be very 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 unique. Um, okay, and then I you know these are interesting, and I think you know that I think is is the direction that I would say to go with the the piece. Okay, the call is yours. Of course, I love this. <laughs> this thing's great. <laughs> this little, this little pictograph, the skier is awesome. Um, oh, which reminds me, I didn't see, I didn't see much by way of your pictograms. So make sure that you get those sketched out and let, let's get those taken care of the, this week or as soon as possible, really. Um, and I know that, listen, man, I know that some of these instructions are ambiguous. I, I get that. I totally get it. Um, you know, you do the right thing. If you have, you know, when in doubt, at, ask. Um, and I'll try to decipher some of these as, as well as I can, like I did this one. So, all right. Um, cool. That's, that's pretty cool stuff. Thank you so much for getting this resubmitted.